Honey! Honey! Hey, pretty gang. Babe, bosses, bring it in, bring it here, okay? First of all, if you do not know, my name is Jenny, your exclusive startup business coach. In the description below, you need to check out my brain here for cash course. Let me school y'all. Also, I mean, you rent because of what I just went through, okay? So, I was supposed to get my hair done by a braider, okay? Actually, we're gonna, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call no names, but I need you guys to not do none of this, okay? Now, of course, I did my own hair because <laughs> I know how to braid, okay? I can sweat. However, these are the things I need all my braid bosses to not do, to never do, okay? So I booked my, I booked my stuff a week ago. Everything went through through the site that they're using. Cool, no problem. Gave a location, gave a time. I was supposed to have my hair done today, man, man. Okay, the braider hits me up an hour and a half before my actual appointment. My appointment was at 11 a.m. I get a call around 9:30, 9:45. Not a call, sorry, correction, text. Okay, and I'm actually gonna, do, I'm gonna do us a favor, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna block over a number out, but I'm gonna insert the text somewhere here. So y'all can see the shenanigans that's about to unfold. Okay, she says, hey, what kind of hairstyle you gonna get? First of all, when you book your stuff, it tells you what kind of hairstyle I wanted. But okay, no problem, I screenshot her, the actual thing of what I want, right? I wanted to, actually, I wanted stitch braids. Cool, you gonna do stitch braids, cool? No problem, I'm down, cool. She says, cool, she says, hey, by the way, can we move your appointment up an hour to 12 p.m.? That already caught me off guard, like, okay. Cool, no problem. She said we're gonna move on to that, no problem. I said, okay, cool. So I go through and I'm on my way there at this point, I'm halfway there. So I was at a pause, so I looked at my booking. Well, the what she actually, when I originally, when I originally scheduled with her, it said the hairstyle was $65. Cool, no problem. Then when I looked at my paperwork again, now it says $85. So wait, boo, mid-air you decide to change the price? It said 65 at first. Now it says 85. Okay, again, y'all, I'm halfway there, ready, booked appointment, no problem. You end up 20 on your price, no problem. I got you, we good. I get there, it's like a whole crew of braiders. So the girl comes up to me like, okay, how may I help you? I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be here braiding with somebody today. She was like, oh, okay. She was like, well, who was it? So I told her the name. She was like, oh, girl, that that's her. She's at our local oh, She's at our other location. Okay, no problem. But it is a problem because three strikes you out. You already changed my appointment from pushing an hour later. You don't know what I had going, okay? Number two, you changed the price mid-air. Number three, you give me a location to be at and then you're at the complete opposite location. But wait, sis, it gets better. So I go and I'm leaving. I'm on, my, I'm on the phone with my homegirl like this is why I be trying to tell my braiders y'all got to stay funny. Stop canceling on folks hours ahead. I mean, well, only an hour ahead changing up people's time frames. You don't know what people have going. You don't know what people are doing. Then you change your price mid-air. Do not change your prices as a person is coming to get their hair done. Now, I'm not saying don't change your prices. You have a right to change your price. But why would you change your price while I'm coming to you? So you go $20. When, okay, and then when I get there, you're not even there, sis. What's T? Right? So I leave on the phone talking about her like this. Some bull girl. Let me know if you know any other braiders. So she showed me some information. Boom, boom, boom. No problem. I get a text from a girl like, oh, are you still available? I'm in the area. Or your stylist is in the area. Sis, my appointment was at 12. I get this text message. I want to say 12, 20, 12, 23. That means 12, 30. That's a whole 20 to 30 minutes later. Now you're trying to get me to come back? No, ma'am. I'm good on y'all. Y'all wasting my time. Y'all wasting my energy. And now I had to come home and do my own hair. Okay? Shout out to the Bray. Bray gang. Okay? But the point is not that I can do my own hair. The point is, you guys, do not change prices mid-air on people. Please be where you say you're going to be. If you're a traveling braider or if you're actually in a, you know, in a, you're at a booth, be where you say you're going to be. And then on top of that, do not move people's times around unless you were going to actually be there. How you going to tell me be there at 12 from 11, then when I get there at 11, everybody looking at me like they don't even know what I'm talking about. Then you hit me later talking about your stylist is in the area. Girl, where? 
Cause then the girl while I was studying, the girl was like, oh, um, she was like, oh, does, it, does anybody, is anybody doing stitch braids today? So is it that whoever come, the braider is the one who's up? Was I actually communicating with the braider? You know, and then the location, did you hear me 20 to 30 minutes later talking about am I still in the area? No, boo, I'm not in the area. I live 35 minutes away from where I was. That's why I went that way. Then you have the nerve to tell me to go to another location for the girl to hit me up a little later and talk about she at the next location. Girl, I'm not playing the kind of games. So all my brave bosses, do me a favor. Do not handle y'all brave business like that because that is why people do not like rocking with certain braiders because people is flu gazing and they play too many games. Right? You messing with people time. You need to make sure, you, you know, your billing or whatever is out the way. Be where you say you're going to be and stick to the schedule of what you promised people that you were going to be there to do. Come on now. So, I just came to share with y'all. I'm, I'm hyped because, like, this literally was all this morning. You can I just put these braids in, like, two hours ago. Okay? But, this is the kind of stuff that people deal with when they deal with certain braiders. And then you wonder why people don't be sticking with braiders or when people don't want to book you because y'all is flu gazy out here y'all are bogus out here y'all playing games stop playing get the money get to the bag because these be the same ones talking about i get to the money i get to the bag no when you get to the money into the bag when you feel like it right don't get me wrong money you could uh, that's the point of being a boss and that's the point of being an entrepreneur do it when you want to but if you for real if i would have went to any other establishment right air quotes I'm sure it wouldn't have went down like that. Because that's our problem. Just because it's a side hustle do not mean you treat it any old kind of way and you do whatever you want to do. Okay? So my braiders, please, please, please do me a big favor. Be on time for your appointments. Make sure you stand firm in your prices. Don't change your prices mid-air when a client is on their way. Okay? Do not be moving people's schedules around. And do not be, don't be nowhere where you say you ain't going to be when you need to be where you need to be to do somebody's hair. See you guys, I hope this was helpful again. It was my rant. But you guys, I'll be talking to you guys later again in the description below. Check out my braid here for cash course, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.